This time on Bonafide Bus, I show what it's like to work, play, and live independently for a week as a solo female bus dweller. I'm Sarah, and this is Eric. We love traveling and enjoying the great things that Earth has to offer. So a few months ago, we decided to pursue life on the road and capture our adventures along the way. Subscribe for a new video every other Wednesday, and thanks for coming with us. Good morning. It is just me this time. I have the bus to myself for an entire week. Eric is gone on a trip with the boys and that leaves all of the bus responsibilities with moi. I am really excited. I'm a little bit nervous, but I am taking this as an opportunity to prove to myself that I can do anything I put my mind to and I can handle all of this independently. Um, I already went for a little morning walk. I'm really happy to show you guys how everything unfolds and I'm just gonna take it day by day. All right, so it's 9.30, the sun is out and it's absolutely beautiful. So I'm going to head down to the beach. group of people and I walked down a little bit to see what all the signs say it looks like they're doing a lifeguard test they have a boat way out in the water huge floaties and then a bunch of markers along the stretch of beach that I'm on so I guess that's my entertainment for the morning um, let's see how this goes my time on the beach but it's about two o'clock and I should probably be getting out of the sun by now and it's also well past lunchtime. So I came up from the beach, made lunch which consisted of quesadilla, chips and cheese, a bell pepper and spinach dip and then five cookies. So I watched a movie and then promptly fell asleep <laughs> and now somehow the best the bus is really messy. Um, so I'm gonna do a quick clean. Having a clean space really affects my mood and living in a bus is a double-edged sword with that. It gets messy really quick, but it also cleans up really quick. Okay. Much better. Um, I really don't want to, but I'm going to make myself go for a sunset run and then probably find a place to park and continue my day of relaxation. So I'm in the bus right now. I've got my candles out. I'm making a little snack. I'm gonna watch a movie and just unwind for the night and I will see you tomorrow. Good morning. I'm about to move the bus into a park, um, but I wanted to show you the other vans parked right next to me that I saw when I woke up. One's a schoolie. And then a van there, van there. Um, when I went to sleep, there were like three other ones. So last night was my first night sleeping in the bus alone. And I am happy to report that 
I was actually very comfortable. I think part of that is to do with the fact that we're here a lot. And I also know some of the other people that live in vans and they were parked right outside the bus. So that helps just having the assurance that if something were to go down, I could go to one of them and be confident that they would help me. You can never be too careful. Good morning, it is I. Plans for today. Um, I'm going to go babysit for a few hours. There's a family that I've been nannying for in the area. And then I'm going to go to my friend's house. I just need to get my bike down because I'm gonna bike there. Instead of taking the bus, parking is crazy. And I know that the bus will be safe here. Um, yeah, and then just, I'll see what happens after that. <laughs> This is my friend Brie and her studio apartment. It's full of color and plants which totally reflects her personality. When I go to Brie's in the evening, it's usually with a bottle of wine and we just pass the time talking and painting. I am back in the bus. I am parked safely on a side street. Tonight was really fun. I had a good time, but I will not lie. The bike back was a little spooky. Definitely different bike ride than it is in the daytime. But everything is good and tomorrow's a new day. Looking forward to it. I left my headlights on all night, so I guess we'll see if the bus will start. Ah, dumb. Dumb, dumb, dumb. I did that. <laughs> oh my gosh. So, so silly. <clears throat> wow. I want to show you guys how beautiful this morning is, though. You can see Catalina out there. Palm trees are blowing in the wind. Whew, it's gonna be a good day. <laughs> I hope I didn't keep any of the other van dwellers that were sleeping around me awake with my headlights, but you live and you learn, I guess. I may have just marked myself as the the idiot bus girl, but um, whatever. Plans for today, I'm gonna go nanny for a few hours this morning. It's 6.30 a.m. right now. And then I'm going to hopefully hang out with some friends. I will come back here in between and shower. I'll show you how I do that. Um, but luck is on my side today, so. Oh. 
Um, it, it's going to be a good day. about to shower, do a quick bus clean, and then I'm gonna go hang out with some friends at the beach. And yeah. Oh, can we take a moment to appreciate this romper? I found this thrifting yesterday, $7. to be clean. Um, I'm gonna do a quick bus clean and then hit the road. Gonna go meet everybody at a different beach and take you along. It's often assumed that I don't or just can't drive the bus due to traditional gender roles, but it's not that hard. It's just a little bigger than the average vehicle, and to all my ladies out there, believe me, if I can do it, you can do it. I'm parked at my usual spot. It is 6.20 right now, and I need to leave in like 30, 40 minutes to go nanny. I'm tired. I just wanna sleep, but maybe I'll take a nap <laughs> later. And I'd really like to go surfing. The surf report is looking pretty trash right now, so we'll see how that works out. If I can't go surfing, maybe I'll just go to a different beach um, and show you guys something a little different. I am back at the bus now. I had a good day nannying. We did temporary tattoos. Um, on my bike ride home, I stopped and got some veggies for dinner and I had a rest. And then now I think I am going to be productive on my laptop, tidy up a bit, and then probably head down to the beach in time for sunset and a nice walk. Okay. Yeah, I won't be too long. I'm just gonna watch sunset. All right, love you too. That was me pretending that there was somebody else in the bus traveling with me because I noticed somebody else in the lot noticing me a little too much. But since this isn't a safety van video, I'm not gonna go into safety tips. However, I will link a few videos that I find insightful in the description below.
money on the beach. $21, baby. Let me know what I should spend it on. With ups come downs, uh, after nannying I was not feeling like myself, not because of the situation or the weather, I actually really like it when it rains, but it was just, you know, that time of the month, and my body was telling me to stay in bed and eat, so I listened. I also never realized how much I wiggle my feet until I saw this time lapse, uh, that is something I inherited from my dad. If you were wondering how I got that shot, I just taped the GoPro to the ceiling. Yeah. Walking the beach, I've kind of just been reflecting on how everything has been going this week. And logistically, everything has gone really smoothly. I haven't had any troubles parking, driving, sleeping at night. I haven't been afraid. I've actually been really, really comfortable. The one thing that I have actually been struggling with that surprised me is just being alone. Um, when you go from being with your person 24 7 to not at all that's like a really big adjustment it's not even like i've been alone i've been with friends almost every night but um you still feel it and i think that if i were to do bus life van life by myself that is the one thing that i would actually really struggle with and that's coming from a person who loves getting alone time when she can. So yeah, that just really surprised me. By the end of the week, I was feeling confident. Was solo living more work? Yes. But did I accomplish everything I wanted to and more? Yes. So to all my gentle folk out there who are worried about the next challenge or scary thing you have to face, I'd like to lend you a piece of my confidence here. Maybe it'll take a few tries, but don't let that hold you back. We grow through experience and I for one believe in you. I am so incredibly thankful for this experience and the opportunity to prove to myself that I can this. If I can do it, you can do it. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you next time.